Hi friend, welcome back to Network Lab Room channel. To be up today, I would like to cover uh, step to set up passive configuration on Citrix IDC. Uh, first of all, let me explain my topology I'm using in um, this video. Uh, you see, I had uh, two Citrix IDC, Citrix um, 1 and Citrix 2. They are connecting to 601 and 602. I set up two web server. Uh, they are connect to the 601 and 602 also. The 601 connect to the Fortinet firewall and Fortinet firewall facing to internet to provide internet for internal uh, subnet. Uh, today I just only forgot to the Citrix uh, 01 to show the step to set up the basic configuration. Okay, uh, now. Let me go to the GUI of Citrix ADC. This is a wizard for initial configuration. Uh, you can um, set up the basic configuration uh, here or continue and set up in the configuration uh, later. Let me uh, set up the basis uh, configuration hotname uh, DNS and ignore the sub IP address. Sorry. Okay. Hotname is Citrix zero one uh, DNS IP uh, I dot I and Tamyon six one and NTB server NTB dot pun dot org and I don't want to enable next color console connect uncheck and done. Because uh, you set up the uh, configuration by we are so Citrix inform the site configuration and reboot. So this uh, con um, the mandatory condition. Click yes. And um, I'm about both uh, video and come back after the Citrix ADC uh, come up. Okay, Citrix uh, IDC uh, come up now. Let me uh, login again. Okay, I will continue and set up the subnet IP address uh, later. And I think the first step you need to check is the license. And you see, I'm using the V2 in my so license type is standard. And there are so many the filter I cannot use. Uh, assemble uh, global server load balancing, uh, HTTP compression, uh, routing protocol, OSPF, BGB. If you buy uh, another license, you can manage license and add new license using the file you receive from your vendor and uh, then get back to the setting and there are so many parameters you can set for a Citrix Netscaler on your environment assemble config mod I would like to enable layer 2 mod and mark the rest space forwarding uh, bridge BDU and uh, you a uh, uh, UL uh, FD okay and the config advanced feature if you want you, uh, if you have feature you can enable uh, OSPF routing, BGB routing, um, app flow, uh, video optimization and so on and 
Click OK because I don't have license, so I cannot enable advanced feature. OK. Also, you can uh, change the time zone here. And using uh, UTC time zone if you want. And change uh, Netscaler console to connect to advisory and cloud uh, parameter swan okay uh, next you can go to user administration uh, to add the one more user okay and uh, have the command policy city uh, privilege level you can assign to user hi it is super user this is the high level same like uh, NS root and uh, you can set up the network parameter in the network item <coughs> um, using IB interface VLAN channel I'm using the VLAN 101 for connect between Citrix and the LAN network so I need uh, define the VLAN ID in the VLAN at the VLAN AD 101 and go to the interface bindings uh, aside the VLAN to the fiscal interface uh, my fiscal is 1 plus 1 and if you want to touch the traffic to uh, uh, 101 on the box uh, 1 you just uh, check the target because I don't want to touch this uh, uh, traffic for VLAN 101 so I, I, I will not check create and go to a channel in the real version you can set up the book channel between Citrix, Lublancing and the Swiss but in the lab I uh, will not do it and using just single line between them there are two ways to set up the box channel in Citrix ADC one in manual you can add the channel and choose the channel ID from 1 to A and padding the interface the member box for box channel click add and choose the physical box 1 2 3 depending uh, your uh, device second uh, way is the uh, LACB you must go to interface and go to its interface its member box and enable the uh, LACB filter and uh, the box will be uh, add to box channel automatically if uh, the GUI don't show you the LACB filter like me uh, you can enable this filter by using the command line let me show Uh, says interface um, interface ID assemble one sub plus uh, one uh, LICB mod uh, ACT or standby uh, sorry ACT or BASI or disable the LICB feature ACT and LICB key is mean the uh, channel group ID assemble you want to add uh, interface 1 to box channel group 1 you try 1 2 uh, if you want to box channel 2 you tie 2 and do the same command for another interface assemble interface 2 okay okay let me come back to GUI and setting the box one plus one because uh, box channel box uh, zero in switch I set up the trunk so I need set up a trunk also in box one plus one in street channel drop up and because I just have the one street so I don't need the XA filter I opt the uh, XA monitoring uh, XA here bit on so and 
tap on VLAN I opt because I don't want to allow VLAN 1 on the link OK and OK then the IP uh, I'm using this IP for something IP so I need to define as 10 doc, sorry 10 doc 10 doc 100 1 doc uh, 2 and sub mark 8 255 255 255 248 and this is subnet IB subnet IB is uh, IB to uh, communication between Citrix and the backend server and you can enable this uh, feature if you want I just keep it default and enable the management asset it means uh, the Administrator can use CIB to accept the uh, Citrix Net Scaler. I don't want so I uncheck it and create and come back to the VLAN. I would like to assign the IB to VLAN. This one interface VLAN uh, IB address. Okay, and now I think I let me check being from switch 0 01 to C trick using IB 10.10.100.1.2. Okay, switch 0 01 and so IB in the five bridge. Okay, well, I'm up and pin 10, 10, 101 and 2. Okay, I can pin 2. Now let me try this one and try start this. Okay, you see, the Mister, you see. The one more thing I need is set up the route for the Citrix. I would like to add the default route. Uh, boy to the interface will run one hundred and one. And then my invitation, the Citrix can accept the VLAN 100 and also I set the internet. I set up the uh, policy in firewall already. As and default route. Uh, no round no. Get why 10 10 101 and monitoring uh, the static route. And you seen bin. Mm, I think AB. Okay, AB E5. Create because between the Citrix and uh, Switch layer two. So using um, AB. Okay. Now let me try being from Citrix to Internet. Also being to VLAN 100. Citrix and pin uh, one 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 one. Okay, I can bin. Let me bin domain score.com. I cannot be in Cisco.com. Let me check the DNS setup first. DNS, uh, I need you in uh, traffic management, uh, DNS and DNS server. This one up and say. Let me bin again. Okay, now I can bin. Uh, Cisco.com. Okay. Now let me come back system and uh, set up the NTB server. Let me show the NTB server started in uh, Citrix. So NTB status. Uh, let me check in first. Uh, Indisable, so I think startup cannot uh, cannot up. Okay, now let me see. Uh, you see, you go to NTB server, join the NTB server name, and join uh, MTB synchronization and enable. And okay, okay, let me check again. Okay. 
the citric can sin mtb from mtb server uh, so sin okay enable uh, so clock sorry so time yon sorry let me do it later okay so I'm done uh, set up the basic configuration the subnet IP uh, interface VLAN uh, routing and MTB server for Citrix ADC uh, in uh, next video I'm gonna to cover set up the uh, traffic management and SA between two Citrix so I'm um, just stop video here Thank you for watching and see you in next video. I always hope you get your like and your subscribe my channel. Friend, bye bye.